computer science videos here today to show you guys in this tutorial how to upload a video to your daily motion account on a Mac computer without further ado let us start the video before I start this tutorial I would like to say that you are more than welcome to subscribe to my channel computer science videos as we know every problem is solved by indirection you can also follow my Twitter account we are trying to grow as fast as ever I'm on TikTok. We post videos here and there. Follow my page on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram. You are more than welcome to support me on PayPal. Let's now focus on the video. So in this tutorial, you need to have access to a Mac computer and account for daily motion. I have created the account in the previous tutorials. So you're more than welcome to pause this video go watch those videos which will be available at the end of this video and then come back to this video in order to start uploading videos to the account you also need to have access to a video which we will be uploading to the account a thumbnail so we can now start the tutorial let's now go all the way down to the dock go to the web browser which is safari in this case now let's go to dailymotion.com I can navigate to the favorites toolbar and click on daily motion. This will take me directly to partner HQ. How do we get to this point in the video? Let's go back one, remove the unrequired URL, go to daily motion, click the top right corner, click on partner HQ. Now what we can do is start to upload the video. So the video that we have on the desktop that's ready to upload, let's just take the video, drag and drop up to 10 files. For this tutorial, it's only one. So let's drag and drop. And this should now be uploading. Will take some time really depending on the length of the video, the quality of the video and the internet speed. So let's just give that some time and then we will come back to it once it has uploaded. Let's now increase the size of the Safari window. What we will be doing now is choosing a title, a description, and some tags, the language, the category, maybe add it to a playlist if we have one already. If not, that's something for the near future. The privacy, we'll leave it as public as we want all the videos to be public. If we upload a private video, maybe in the near future, we could turn those into private to public. And so then the audience can watch those videos. So after that, we can decide if this video is primarily made for a different audience. If not, we can say, no, this is not. Let's just say, no, it is not. Let's now scroll up to the top. And let's begin to choose a title. We can use the same one that we have uploaded the video for and the title was given to us automatically as that's what the video title was before the video upload. So I'll just say how to use A Mac for beginners basic user guide command a highlights command C to copy add that to the description with a couple of hashtags Computer Science Videos, Apple, the official how-to guide. Let's click on return. And then maybe in the near future, what we would do is add a couple of social media links as well as links to, let's say, a playlist. Let's go to tags. Computer Science Videos. Click on enter and that becomes 
a full tag itself, how to use a Mac. I'll just do a couple of more and then maybe in the near future we can have a collection of tags which we save and then add to the video every time we require that. A step-by-step -step user guide. Language is English. Select the category. So this is I would say technology, but my videos fall into the category of education. We'll leave the video public and we will then go to the advanced section where it asks us to select a category for geo blocking. Let's just leave that as none. The recorded date, we can change this if we want to, but maybe that's for another date and time let's go back to basic and now what we can do is publish the video that's now done so what I will do is go to videos and we can see this video itself has been uploaded within the videos section let's click on this video or click on the three dots, which will allow us to edit the video if we ever needed to. I can use frame, which will allow us to hopefully upload a thumbnail. If that's not the case, we will have to stick with the thumbnail that they have generated. Maybe in the near future, depending on how big the daily motion channel becomes they may roll out this feature for their daily motion partners and so the video itself has been uploaded let's go back to videos if i now were to go to dailymotion.com go to settings go to your channel and there we see the video has been uploaded to our channel within daily motion. So I can now quit Safari. And so that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for now. Thank you for making it towards the end of the video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, Computer Science Videos. Be sure to check out the previous video on screen now, or you can ideally click on the playlist and watch all the journey for computer science videos from the start until now.